Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to play Bella's Lullaby on the piano. First I will show you how to play it with both hands and then the right hand and the left hand separately. Let me show you first the right hand. We start from F sharp and with the third finger, then the note D with the first finger. This is repeated twice. Next note G with the fourth finger and D with the first. Also repeated twice. So the first measure goes like that. We play F sharp and D twice. Next, we play E with the second and D with the first, and also twice. Then F sharp with the third, D with the first, repeated twice. And the third on G, the first on D, and then the second on the G. Then B flat with the fourth finger. So the last measure was like that. The third on A, the first on D, the fourth on A, the first on D, the third on G, the first on D, the fourth on G, and the first on D. So the note D is also always here played with the first finger. Then we continue. Um, F sharp with the third, D, then F sharp and D, G with the fourth finger, D with the first, F sharp with the third finger and E with the second. F sharp with the third, the first on the D, F sharp with the third, and E with the second, mm, the first on the D, the second on E, this is repeated twice, mm, then F sharp with the fourth, C with the first finger, repeated twice. with the first, E with the fourth, D with the third, again the note E with the fourth, and here we have the first finger on 
um, B sharp, a B flat. So this is this black key. Again, the fourth on E, the first on B flat, then the third on a D, the first on B flat. Then we change the finger, we play D, but with the finger, the fourth finger. And the note C with the third finger. And then the melody starts. Um, so let me play from the beginning just the right hand. Second on B, the first on A, repeated twice. Uh, sorry, it's uh, not repeated, it's kept a bit longer. So we play just B and A, and this is repeated twice. So again, B and A. And here we play uh, the fifth on B. B flat, the fourth on A, the third on G, the second on E, the first on D, the fifth on G, the second on B, and the first on A. So this is the last measure, let me repeat for you. fourth on B and the chord D and C played like that. Then the second on E, the fourth on G and the chord B and A and the note C with the second finger. Also the rhythm is quite important here. Let me play you the last line um, in the right tempo. So B flat, A, G, E, D, G, B, A. So it's exactly as previously. Then we have the chord, uh, the, the note B with the fourth, and the chord D and C. So D with the first finger and C with the fifth. Then we have F sharp with the third and the chord. E and G. Next we have the note D sharp with the first, the third and the chord B and E. In here and then G with the third and C and A, C with the first finger and A with the fourth finger. And then we play the second on G, the third on E, on A, and the first on B. Uh, let me repeat the, rest, the last uh, four measures. It was like that. F 
sharp with the fifth, B with the second, G with the first, F sharp with the second, and E with the first. And again, F sharp with the fifth, B with the second, F sharp with the first, G with the second, and B with the first. So you need to play like that. Then F sharp with the third, E with the second, D with the first, then C with the third. So you also need to move your hand here like that. B with the second and A with the first. Then the fourth on G, the third on F sharp, D with the second and B with the first finger. Mm, okay, let's continue. Uh, so this is the figure you know already. We start on B flat with the fifth finger, then A, G, E, D, G, B, A. And then we play the first on F sharp twice, C with the second finger, which is repeated with the first, then F sharp with the second, repeat it twice, and A with the fourth finger, and the fifth on B. Then we play G with the third, uh, the fourth on A, the fifth on B, the first on D, and then you repeat the note D but with the fifth finger. The fourth on C, you play it twice, the third on B, also twice, the second on A, just once, then the first on E, twice, the second on G, also twice, the third on B, played twice, and the fifth on D, also twice. Then short pause, then the note D played with the fifth, twice, the fourth on C, also twice, the third on B played twice, and the second on A just once, uh, the note um, E played twice with the first, G twice with the second finger, B with the third finger played twice, and here we play the note E with the fifth finger, and this is repeated for the second time with the third finger. Then we have the chord B and F sharp. Just once, then the note D with the third finger. Once again the note D with the fifth finger. C with the fourth. And we have a chord like that. So you play the first on E and the fifth on C, just once. Then the fourth on B, and the chord like that, the first on D and the fifth on B, just once, and the fourth on A. <coughs> now you have also the chord like that. <coughs> so the first on C and the third on B, uh, on G, and the G is repeated with the third finger, then the fifth on C, and then the first on C, the second on E, twice, and the fifth on A, also twice. The fourth on F sharp, the second on D, and the fifth on D. The fourth on G, and this is a very similar part that you know already. Uh, so the fourth on C, just once, and then the chord E and C. Played E with the first and C with the fifth finger. <coughs> then you have a B with the fourth finger, twice, and A with the third. It's almost the end, so just be patient. And the note 8 is repeated twice with the first finger, 
then C with the second, also twice, E with the third, also twice, and the note A played for the first time with the fifth finger and then repeated with the fourth and the last chord E and B with the first and the fifth finger. Okay, so um, I guess it's best if I play the right hand very slowly from the beginning. Once you know the right hand, it's already much easier to play the left hand because it's it's, it's much easier. Uh, it starts on D with the fifth finger, and this note is kept for two measures. Then you play um, B flat with the second, but the note D is still kept. Uh, then you play A with the first finger and the G with the second. And once again, D with the fifth, B flat with the second, and C with the first, and again B flat with the second, then D with the fifth finger, B flat with the second, then D with the fifth, and G with the first. And this note D is kept longer. Once you play the second note, it's still kept. Then we play the second on C, repeat it twice, the third on B and the fourth on B flat. Then the second on B flat, the third on A and the chord A and E. A with the fifth, the fifth and the E with the first finger. So this chord is repeated in fact many many times. Let me show you how it is played. The first 
last measure, the second, the third measure, when you play just this chord once, and once again, the fourth measure, and then we play um, another chord, which is C and G, and it's played in the same way, uh, it means it's repeated twice. the chord as, as before. And the same chord once again. And once again in this chord twice. It's best if I show you it together with the right hand in a second. Uh, but let's continue with the left hand. Now you play the note C with the third finger twice. The chords a and E twice and the chords G and D also twice and again the note C twice with the second finger and the chord G and D with the fifth and the first finger once again C twice and the chord that you know A and E This is kept for the whole measure. Next we repeat this chord and we play E with the fifth, A with the second and the chord D and the B, the fifth and the first. Then we move E and C, uh, E with the fourth finger and C with the first and F sharp and the D, F sharp with the third and Then we play G and E. Uh, it's, easy, it's easier to play it with the fifth finger and the first, and then you change the fifth uh, finger, you change it with the third finger, because you play then the note F sharp with the fourth and E with the fifth. Mm, so maybe I will repeat the last uh, two measures. G and the D, uh, then uh, C and G, and the chord E and G played with the third and the first finger. Then once again G and D, then you play B and G, like that, with the fifth and the first finger, then C and G. And again, G and D, then G and E, so <coughs> you change <coughs> the note here, then E and G played, E played with the second finger and G with the first, then B and G, G and D, G and E. So these chords they repeat quite often. Uh, e and G with the second and the first finger. And that's almost the end because the last chord is uh, like that B and E. Like, uh, like that. Um, I think it's best if I play it very slowly together with both hands. Okay, from the beginning.
So that was Bella's Lullaby. I hope it was easy for you and that you liked it. If so, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.